For some reason, aquatic plants are incredibly expensive. It makes no sense to me, as they're so easy to propagate. You go into a nursery and you're looking at 10 to $15 per pot. Water lilies around $20. So let me quickly show you how easily you can propagate your own water plants and save some money. There's three main ways to propagate plants. Number one, cuttings. Number two, division. Number three, growing by seed. Cuttings are the easiest, but they will only work on plants with a stem and leaves. Trailing plants like this bacopa are perfect. Simply pinch off a piece of stem, remove a few leaves from the bottom and place or anchor down with, in the water with some rocks and gravel. As long as the stem of the cutting is in water or kept moist, the roots will strike. Popular water plants like milfoil, bacopa, creeping jenny, and even impatience can be very easily propagated by cuttings. There's no need for expensive equipment or special propagation mixes. Just plonk straight into the pond edges or the bog filter. And bam, Bob's your uncle, free plants. Next I've got division. It'll work on any clumping plants, plants with rhizomes or tubers, and anything that sends out runners. Water lilies, water irises, rushes, eelgrass, they're just some of the popular plants that can easily be divided. As long as you get some foliage and some root, you're basically guaranteed success. Most plants that I divide, I pot into seven mil gravel, but water lilies and lotus will do better in boggy soil with gravel over the top. This will stop the soil leaving the pot and mixing with the pond water. Floating plants like duckweed, azolla, and water lettuce divide themselves. Because of this, they can become invasive very quickly. Last is propagation by seed. Any plant that flowers can be propagated by seed. With seed, it's best to sow in soil and keep nice and moist. Here are the seeds of some canna lilies we collected. This takes longer to get new plants, but you'll get heaps for very little effort. Most of the plants that can be propagated from seed can also either be divided or have cuttings taken. For example, this is an arum lily called Green Goddess. It can easily be divided, but as you can see, there are heaps of seeds in each flower head. I hope this video has been helpful. My goal is to help you create beautiful ponds without spending a fortune. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.